I'm a little biased. However, just in terms of his ability to stand, you know, side by side with, with Mr. Golding on a, on a debate stage, for I'm sorry, right. Mr. Holness on a debate stage. Mr. Holness, Mr. Mr. Holness. Yeah. If right. Crawford and Holness were on the stage, it would be a more... Definitely. Definitely. For Definitely. example, if you, if you remember the last election when, when Mr. Golding was debating Dr. Nigel Clark um, in the finance debate, right? Clark wiped him to the floor. Now, Clark is for bridging. He was at Cambridge. When I was at Cambridge, Clark was at, I mean, um, Oxford as a Rhodes Scholar. Dr. Clark, right? So I've known right. him for 27 years. Right. But he's the kind of guy that was very meticulous when he prepares. And he, he does out um, <laughs> Mark Goley, <laughs> right? So Mark Goley can't start up against Andrew Wallace. Andrew Wallace is a good student. He prepared. He must, I would say I got to teach him. So, so yeah, I'm very, 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 very smart. He's very prepared. He's the kind of guy who, if you give him the answer to the test, oh my goodness. Him talk like say, him, him is an expert at the thing. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna ace but, it. He's gonna ace it. <laughs> yeah. But if it's a new test, we have to tell him about something completely different than he has to come up with the idea. He's not so good. So it's what we call a Mancurian candidate, right? If if the if his handlers give him all the information, he's going to be a very good leader. However, a Mia Motley now, she is she is. She's a giant. I mean, she is the Caribbean's leader right now. Mia Motley is the Caribbean's leader. But, but Even, don't you think? But don't you think she's she's selling out to the Chinese now, though? What do you think? Well, all of the countries of the developing world have decided I'm better that than Chinese. Chinese imperialism is better than American imperialism ah. because it comes with no guns. It ah. comes with no guns. No CIA, no murdering of politicians and so forth. All they do is they give you the money and they ask you to use their companies to build whatever they, they're lending you the money and if, to buy. And if, and if you, and if you fall upon the, upon the payment, then take your, your property. Correct. However, good leaders are not going to default on those payments because it's yeah, very, yeah, very yeah, cheap. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's like... And you know, that's, a key, that's like, a key point you're making, you know. That's a key point that, you're making. We don't have to go change because we know so we can't trust nobody, right? Correct. Because we don't have any friends. We don't have any friends as black people. But what you're Correct. saying is poor leadership can let people default from payment. That's the first thing. Right? That's right. Because but fiscally, you just said something important. The, the, other, the other imperialists, them, them come with guns and bombs. The Chinese, exactly. them, the Chinese, the Chinese them come with, 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 with economy. Exactly. They come, they, for example, I've been going to Ethiopia since 2005. Right? That's where my foundation is. It's called Shashamani Sunrise. It's from Shashaman in Ethiopia. You asked me about His right. Majesty. Many, many years ago when he was a regent of Ethiopia, Ayla Selassie said, anyone in the diaspora who wants to come, um, somebody's asking a quick question. It makes no sense how both administrations support tourism while it's only a seasonal industry. That person is absolutely correct. That's Nova Blacks, right? Our reliance on mass tourism is the biggest nonsense I've ever heard of in my life. Because while Jamaica is great, if you take a piece of it and give it to foreigners and we can't go access those things, how is that mm. tourism? That's theft. You're stealing the national resources of our country and giving it to people and things we can't get back. The hotels own most of Seven Mile Beach. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right? You have to get permission to go to the beach through one of their properties or some shit like that. But, you know, I would want rather to spend money on, like, you know, cannabis industry or creative industries, like, where you're, you know, where you operate in. Or, uh, right. um, e even our, our, our farming and agricultural industries have, have opportunities for growth. Not exponential growth, but growth so much that we're no longer reliant on imports to feed ourselves. Right now, Jamaica imports more of its food than... Um, grows. That should never happen. We have so much land and stuff that we can grow enough food for all our needs in Jamaica. But because of globalism and, and those type of things, right now we're relying on others. But it's going back to the politics because you know that's an economic question, which I'm happy to answer that too. But on the political right. side, and the whole point about about the, getting our freedom from the Queen. 
I believe we should always get our freedom from the Queen if we have a choice. I want nothing to do with Elizabeth and her, 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 her system of government. In fact, I think we ought to think of revamping the whole system of government to be a national unity government where we're no longer divided by um, red and green or not green, what's it called? Orange and green. Red and orange. Um, and then, green, are, green and orange. Yeah, green and orange. It should be, let's elect someone based on their ability to um, govern in the constituency that they're in and they're all right. part of the, you know, the nat national government. And that's it. We're not going to ask them to... Don't you think it's going to be a ter political turmoil if we get rid of the Queen? Because you're going to have um, people now with nobody to answer to. Uh, politicians going to feel like they can, you know, have political prisoners, all of them things there. Because there is, and, and, and even in, in, in case of like the justice system, gonna, I think the justice system, in my opinion, will be more corrupted if we remove the Queen because we won't have the privy council for people can go to like like people that are are convicted without any form of you understand me? wrongful convictions i Indeed. think those things will become problematic if we get rid of the queen and 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 and, and, and another thing too are we gonna get rid of the queen when we owe them so much money all right so those are good questions the first question is do you have a sense of how many cases go to the privy council no i'm what not do you think? What percentage I'm of checking cases it, what percentage do you think if you had to guess at it? I think it's at a large percent. I, 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 um, because I've had um, I've had conversations about it before and it's, I don't think it's a lot. I think it's maybe like maybe 10 or 15 or 20 percent around there. That, that's way too big. It's more like 3 percent if I were to See, guess at I'm, it. I'm, I'm way right? up, yeah. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it's, if it's closer to 1 percent. So, so in fact to say that we're going to stay with the Queen just for the 1% of cases that will go to, to Privy Council is not, a, is not a strong argument for me. I always right. think that we can rely on our own um, selves to govern our own selves, even if it's right or wrong. I don't want any other person, particularly no white person, to have any control over me and my government or, or, or you know, my, my person, right? Right. In terms right. of money, I believe they owe us money, as a matter of fact. Right, they, 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 they say that we owe them money. I believe they owe us money, because for many years, as a colony, um, Jamaica was, we would ship products and services to Europe, to to England, to Spain. Before that, when we when we were right. colonized by the Spanish, I believe right. they owe us money. In fact, right, I'd be I'd be okay with saying, as and we cut it off right now, we cancel all debt. All right. But well, are they going to do that though? Because, because if, we, if we do that, how are we going to get a loan from nobody else? The Chinese. The Chinese are not going to uh, get, not give us any loans. The Export uh, uh, Import Bank, um, all they require so, is. So, so you think the Monroe, you think that the people who we, 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 we instituted the Monroe Doctrine are going to fold them arm and make that happen? Well, that's the problem. So, as you know, <laughs> Haiti, Haiti has suffered a lot. Because ah, of, uh, of, of, of this, uh, reparations. Right? <laughs> you so, understand that because the sanctions are going to reach we. Oh, right. So if, if they do create sanctions for you it's, 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 or us, it's going to be difficult. However, yeah. you because notice they created, that they Cuba... Created, they created, they created a, 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 a poverish 18, a brother. Based correct. on... Yeah. yeah, correct. Correct. Now, you will notice, though, that the country of Cuba has a 95... Sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. Um, anybody on the, um, the live... I, I, sorry, I didn't put up this earlier. Andy. The Vancouver show was cancelled um, because they cannot, they cannot do seating um, um, at the venue. So the, the, the promoter cancelled the show. So, so we keep you posted on that. Sorry about not, not um, letting you people know earlier. On. Sorry about that, Vancouver people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah brother. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, all, all of these things are, are getting affected again by. I mean, I thought we would have had a permit for 5,000 people. We got 500, sorry, 50 people for Trench Zone Rocks. <laughs> 5 0. I mean, oh, so, so you had the concert that, already? No, man, it's, it's on Sunday. It's virtual. Okay. So, 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 so take, take, take me there, bro, because I'm very interested in this whole queen separating ourselves from the queen. How are we going to yeah. get out of it? Are we going to go past the Monroe Doctrine? 
how we gonna the money with because in in truth them owe we money because first thing them take out of it, um, habitat and brought into captivity and whosoever was already on the side them them yeah. enslaved them so so one how of do we get the money when queen them, when British state paid for our freedom from the individual slave owners them and them had, actually had to repay the loan that they 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 they, they, they bought the slaves them. right. So actually, right. one of our best politicians in Jamaica, a gentleman by the name of Mike Henry, the MP for Central Clarendon, mm -hmm. he's one of the biggest champions for reparations in Jamaica. And he's presented right. something to Parliament that says they ought to pay us for chattel slavery. Um, right. And that, that's not including all of the economic, you know, raping of the country while they were, um, you know, our colonial masters. Right, so there are two right. separate situations there that I believe right. we owe that we are owed reparations for. Now, uh -huh. it's a legal argument, but one can say, um, you know, it, it may go either way. We could take it to the law, and then you know, if we wait, then we, if the, if the law says we have to pay it, um, then you know, we'll continue to pay. It. There's no difference with it. We can continue to pay it because we're continuing to pay it right now. Now, as far as sanctions. I was mentioning that Cuba, the country of Cuba, has 95% literacy. They have some of the best biomedical companies in the world. In fact, they have their own vaccine. Um, right. they, they, they also export doctors to other countries in the world, particularly um, developing and third world countries. How right. is that possible under the sanctions of America since 1959? So it's possible... It requires but, but, good but, but the leadership. Rulership is still, the rulership is still with a tight, a, a iron fist, though. Exactly. It, it requires so, good so leadership. So we will have to turn Jamaica into a communist state, and the people, they're not even like Andrew Wallace, they're locked, locked down the place already much more. Well, I'm not sure and, if you're going to be communist. Say, if, but... turn, if, if, if Jamaica emulates the whole Cuban um, 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 governance, it's going to be it's gonna be a civil war because a man can't tell the prime minister to suck his mother. <laughs> <laughs> but, listen, but, wait, but you know so fast and find out you there. I I I never had a bed. Him never had a gun man. A boy with the whole police them know man. I don't like a gun man and they can't find. Hey, but I'm saying that him, him, them find him so fast, but them, them know all these criminals. But by the way, all the criminals, everybody knows them. Like you I can't find the same Thomas. I can't find the same Thomas kidnapper. Well, he was an unknown, but like the criminals, like I'm talking like those who are committing all this one ton crime right now in Trenchtown we're seeing one person dying every week for the past 18 months since the pandemic more people are dying in Trenchtown than I remember mm. as a child mm -mm. you understand now that's right. 18 months sorry actually now we're 21 months into the pandemic we had a lockdown in March of 2020 and now we're in December 2021 so that's approximately right. 18 months sorry, sorry 21 months All right that is, and more people and more people are dead. And more people will die too. Because unless we find a way to have, allow those persons to earn, right. they're going to continue to do violence. I mean, what are you going to do, Mr. Vegas? I just saw the Ministry of uh, Entertainment said they're going to give you guys in the entertainment sector $60,000 grant. 60000 Jamaican dollars, by the way, not US dollars. What are you going to do with $60,000? You're... you're Shoes gonna cost sixty thousand Jamaican dollars. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, for man who, 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 who can make five grand a show in you in, in New York or US or ten grand a show or twenty grand a show. How what they offer you six hundred sixty sixty thousand Jamaican is what four hundred? It's one fifty divided by what fifty is um fifteen into six. Yeah. Four, yeah. Four hundred dollar. What are you going to do with $400? I mean, it's, it's a ridiculousness. And what is that? Is that, is, that big, is, that big, is that big entertainment industry, you know, is that? So, you yeah, have selectors, you yeah, have all kind of people, so some people glad for that four bills. Eh? I know that, and I respect that, by the way. So for those yeah. folks, I, I can see it. You, I'm, I'm saying give them the money, but it's not enough. Mm -hmm. However, if you were to reopen the country and do like what America is doing or what New York is doing, in New York, I can go to the basketball game no problem once I show them my my um my, my vaccine, vaccine card. card, right? 
I could go to mm -hmm. Wembley Stadium. I went to, I just told you, I had 45. But they were, they were trying that whole vaccine thing, but it never worked. And the people them said they're not taking the vaccine. And I get it. Because we have more, we have more anti-vaxxers where the people them, we have, we have anti-vaxxers who would speak more about the dangerous vaccine is than, 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 than the amount of people who speak how dangerous the gunman is. And I, listen, I get it. Anyone who doesn't want to take the vaccine, that must be their right. Because every man has a right to decide their own destiny. I will never force anyone to take it. But as a doctor, I know the vaccine reduces the chance that I'm going to get the virus. And when I get the virus... Well, the conspiracy theorists, they already do them damage. The conspiracy theorists, they already do them damage. So it's not going to fix anytime soon. So it's difficult for us to Okay, so I understand that. It's difficult for us to even say, yo, um, let people go out and blah, 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 blue, blue, because... As a, as a person, if you were running the country, um, and you know that there's a risk that everything has got shut down, Jamaica got shut down, them can't, the planes, the, the flights can't come in, all them things is going to cripple the economy. So the government of it basically take a stance where, you know what, we're not going to take the vaccine, all right, so we just have to just do what we have to do. Okay. That's what's going on. One would think that's a reasonable stance that you've just stated. However, here's the thing I'm about to say about this, which is, which is something that people thought think is controversial. Right. While I'm pro-vaccine, because I'm a doctor and I understand the vaccine and I'm not fearful of anything the vaccine does, vaccine has less risk than the virus. So therefore, I say take the vaccine. And I say... That's I a also fact. Say, that's a, yes, it's a matter of fact. That without is any a doubt. fact. That's a matter of fact. It's, there's no doubt about it. I'm also, no saying doubt. To you, I'm also saying to you that anyone who doesn't want to take it for any reason, religious or personal should not be forced to take it. So I've said those two things, and, and those things are but, absolute, you know, my position. However, I, feel the same I, way too. Cannot, I cannot change the entire country for those 1% or half a percent of people that will die as a result of getting the virus. It's not fair to... There's a whole... You've mentioned your industry entertainment. I know people in entertainment because of the work I do with my foundation. They come and they come into the school, they talk to the children, blah, blah, blah. These people right. have not eaten since March of 2020. None of them are not a sure figure, brother. What am I saying? They're not a sure figure. But, but, I know I'm that... man that, the, but the, the only people that wear try a couple of trash store racks now who, that, who, that, who don't think I'm a madman is because they will get a couple, you know, hundred thousand dollars to do it. Or but whatever. brother, is, is either that or the hospital they might go I go, I go, I go, um, the hospitals you know? will be full. You're right. Yeah. However, what I'm saying to you is that it's still worth do opening the country because it's only half a percent of people going to die. It's not a lot. I mean, 99.5% right, right. yeah, of people are going to be okay. So how am I going to change so make some people. So that means it brings us back to Bujabant and first statement. I say some people feel just dead. Or some people are going to just dead. Some people will have to die. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm just. A, I mean, I, I, people gonna say I'm uncaring or I, 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 every life matters. Blah blah blah. All that foolishness. It's, it's, fine. it's like a pandemic. <laughs> something I have to give. People, people, people are going to die, brother. There's nothing I can tell you. There's no perfect thing in the world. There are people I understand. So, who so, are so, going so, to so, die. so, 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 before we forget, though, so I, I, I just, I, I never really get a full um, understanding for, for your world. The whole queen, you know, you know, removing the queen, a student from Jamaica by it. Because the things that I pointed out to you, they were, those are of concern to me. All right. Maybe a few years. So, so you mentioned the things. So I'll re repeat what I've said because we're talking about it. We jump around. First thing, right. yes, yes, yes. Anytime you say to the queen, get rid of her. My answer is always yes. I'll figure it out afterwards. Secondly, the many intelligent people that have already figured it out, like Barbados is doing. One, you get a president, so you elect someone or appoint someone who is now the head of state instead of the queen, and get rid of the governor general as well, right? Two, you then institute a higher court above the, the highest court as exists right now. Maybe it's called a court of appeals right. or a supreme court. Um, I, you know, I'm not sure if Jamaica already has a supreme court, so just naming wise, you might have to change it to something else, right? But there's a, a higher court, which is what the Privy Council has role the Prince Council has now. Those three things, I think, right away will solve the problem. And the matter of the debt that's owed to them, it's just like any other debt. We continue to pay the debt if we want to, and if we don't, let them sue us for the debt, like you know, like any other um, you know, dispute, any, any kind of any other civil dispute. And right. um, when the results come out, 
debate. In fact, it will take years to have to settle in, in any court. So so we I, 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 I,